Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hi, you guys. Hope you're having a good day and good news today. Harry lost his bid to go to high court to fight for all the things he's fighting for. Yeah, so trying to use his kids as weapons was ineffective and failed. He's probably squealing like a pig today. Yes. So people are saying, who's next in line, you know, for his um, firing squad of suing people. And the karma train has kind of taken him down. So that is that chariot in reverse. And it's just, it's end game for this. So yay. But, you know, he probably won't stop. He's so petulant and angry and mentally ill and allegedly entertainment purposes has very dilated pupils from some white substances that he enjoys immensely. Yes, along with all these other things he likes to do. So um, apparently Megan, it's put out that Megan is saying, I'm so concerned about Harry that he's going to get his feelings hurt when he goes to the UK over his brother. Well, it's put out also, they have no intentions in seeing Harry, so his feelings should be hurt already. He's always going to feel hurt. That's never going to stop. It doesn't look like there's any fix for this guy. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty angry with him. Uh, just, yeah, he's got nothing on the table, you guys. They don't have anything on the table. <laughs> let's, let's get some petulant energy today. How petulant is he feeling? Yeah, that was such a phony, fake facade of kissing, man. If you see that video of the sock, of the um, polo match, it was really cringeworthy. It's kind of cringe on, on stills, but it's really cringe and really comes off as a facade when you see it on tape. And I was like, wow, that just really looks contrived. Their lips were so pierced together. It would be like giving, you know, someone that's a friend, like a little peck or something almost. Uh, it was, they were just like mm, really tight lips, you know. There was no like soft. It was definitely not like a soft kissed lip, you know. It's like kissing your, like your grandmother kissing you, you know, like some, you know, hundred year old woman who's just going to pierce her lips to give you a little peck on the lips, you know, that, that's kind of what it looked like, or like stretched out, mm, going to pull them real tight here, you know, and not definitely no tongue involved, I can tell you that, so yes, <clears throat> how are they feeling today, yeah, besides hating each other, <laughs> and failing, and running out of money, what else is going on, how are they feeling about this, you know, they can't use their kids, everything's falling apart, yes, how are they feeling today? How is petulant little wah feeling today? He's squealing. He is squealing. So I figured I'd probably use a squealing pig as my image for the video. How is Harry squealing today? How is the squeal today? What's he squealing about? I wonder what he's squealing about today. What is Harry squealing about and thinking about and calculating and planning for his next petulant little boy move? Oh, the judgment came in and it got it right. <laughs> So he's probably thinking, oh, it, he's probably hoping that he can do something about it. You know, it, it's, it's a close. It's a closing situation. It's a judgment call. But I think he's thinking, well, I can rebirth this. I can reincarnate this. It's not a final sentence for me. It's supposed to be a final sentence. But this right here, he's hoping he can do some healing and put out another judgment call. So I think he thinks with this, even though it is supposed to be, a, you know, the final sentence, uh, it is a bit enlightening for him, um, but I think he's going to want to do it again. Okay, let's see if I can, you know, it's a rebirth reincarnation card. So I think he'd like to find someone else on his list of suing and have his next tie target in a firing squad. So for him, I don't think it's over. Yeah, okay, you came up with it. It's supposed to be a final sentence, but all right, you know what? I'll find someone else to do it to. And yeah, he has to accept it. He's supposed to accept it, he, you know, so here he's got to accept the loss, but I don't think he will. I think he's going to think, okay, I'll come up with something else because it's my soul's purpose. There's a soul right there. I'm designed to do this. That's what I'm supposed to do. Let's get to the challenging position. Challenging position. And they, they do get it right. That's spirit, energy, collective consciousness saying, yeah, they got it right. All right. <clears throat> and the challenging position is. He can't get it started again. So it's no acceptance. Whatever he does, it will fail. Three of Pentacles in reverse. So no approval. He could try to say, well, I'm going to do this. Well, no, you can't. 
You're going to have to accept it and heal and move on. You cannot fix this. There's no silver lining in this. You can be depressed and, and feel bad and sorry for yourself all you want, but too bad, so sad. Just accept the loss or, you know, maybe, maybe you should heal. Heal yourself. You need to heal. Uh, something's wrong with you, buddy. Yeah, something's real wrong with them. Let's get to the focal point. We already throw that one out. And he thinks he can be resilient and carry on. I got one last one here and I can keep fighting and I'm perseverant. So there you go. He's thinking, okay, I'm supposed to accept this. They told me accept it, but I cannot accept it. I'm going to persevere and find someone else to do this all over again. Because it's a spiritual call. He thinks it's his calling in life. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, hidden. Woo, hidden. There we go. That rat lapped him. Oh, there we go. Hidden. Yeah, it's all manipulation. It's manipulation. He doesn't have the tools available and he doesn't have the money available. He cannot manifest it and have it go his way. It is fraud, 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 and it's stalled. Stalled, so he's going to think, okay, who can I go for next? Past position that doesn't serve. Past position that doesn't serve for um, Harry. Harry, the, uh, the uh, what is it they call it? Uh, where someone's, uh, I don't know my legal names here, but here we go. <clears throat> Those three came out for the past position. So basically what's not working is basically his dad's not coming in to fix it. This is the emperor card and it's in reverse. So daddy is saying, no, I'm not going to fix it for you. That's part of the problem. He didn't win. They did it for Megan on one case. We know that didn't go down the way it was supposed to. So daddy didn't fix it for him. That didn't serve him. So it came to a rock bottom. He feels betrayed. Well, the, the, the crown wouldn't help me or fix it for me. So now I'm feeling quite unstable and the end's here and I don't want to face the end. And now Megan's going really livid mad. She is livid mad. She's in that flat effect, <clears throat> flat effect, um, person and what I, yeah, I usually say it pretty more uh, aggressively as the nasty mean wallflower erratic dramatic bitch position of the queen of wands in reverse there you go it's the bitch the bitch came out she has no personality so what happened is the true self came out uh she dropped her mask she dropped her mask and now she's going real a wall on him she's really bullying harry right now and she was bullying the royal family too and that doesn't serve them and so they're that's why they didn't step in to help sorry we're not going to help you we're, there is no teamwork makes the dream work here and no we're not going to help you so he's going to have to carry on on his own through fraud and manipulation and pretend to acting that he can win this thing when he can't so let's go into the future that popped the future we're going to do it together babe you and i the lovers so that's why they're looking like it why because we're out of the family and we're on our own and we're running, we're struggling here with the Six of Cups in reverse. We're, we're just going to stay in estrangement, you and me. It's you and me, babe. They'll, yep, so they have to pretend they like each other and do that little tight lip kiss like he's kissing his, his uh, an, a hundred-year-old woman. Uh, that's basically what it look like. You know? <laughs> kissing a sister or sibling or someone like that is definitely not a romantic kiss, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> a very awkward kiss. Everyone's talking about it on Twitter, by the way. And we're just going to lie. We're going to lie, lie, lie. We're just going to argue. And we're lying that we're actually an item. But really, we've cut each other out. We really don't like each other. And we're lying through our teeth. And we have so much harsh communication with each other. And we're going to try to find people to be interested in this. But we're going to lie. We're going to lie. Because we're struggling, we need money. We have no loyalty to anyone. So we're not loyal to each other either. And we can't manifest to get back into the family. They don't want us because we claim they were toxic toxic and uh that it was a toxic memories and toxic childhood but he's lying about that too and he lied about it to his to his wife and everyone else that he that will listen and megan does the same game they do it together they lie about their families and the connections with the families and they destroy the families going in estrangement now they're on their own they're independent claiming bad childhood negative losing touch with everyone and so they're very bitter right now very bitter and they're unwelcome in all their home lives they can't megan can't go back 
He can't go back. Nobody wants them. They're just nothing but difficult people who start problems with the Ace of Swords in reverse. And with that sword in reverse, that Ace in reverse, they're not getting the new focus, the new beginnings, the new creativity. Uh, they don't. They can't seed anything new, intellectually speaking. What are they going to come up with next when everyone has basically... Um, gray rocked them they've been gray rocked by the royal family by william by charles by everyone's gray rocking them so that they can't keep lying about the family because they know that they're manipulators here and they have to accept the situation and no we don't care about your court case no you're just you lied you lied so you don't get what you wanted and this here sorry you cannot start something you might want to but we know you're just a liar so he's known as a public liar and deceit fraud manipulator since he hooked up with her pretty common we've always known this for over four and a half years uh, next position here hopes and fears hopes and fears hopes and fears so the court says yeah you're a liar we came in with the right judgment that's what that says we came with the right judgment and we don't accept what you were doing you, you're just not part you know you had no 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 effect and nothing was approved that he wanted. And his team is not happy with him. That teamwork is in reverse. Uh, it's a three in reverse there. So also that three, it's, they're not growing. They're not putting in the right moves. There is no growth and expansion there. So they don't want to work with them either. So they're back to the estrangement. Estrangement, estrangement, liars. So total estrangement uh, is shame. They're feeling shame and self-pity and self-hatred. Shame Shame is a, is, a, is a feeling of definite self-hatred. Uh, it's definitely out in the cold. This is, I'm out in the cold and I'm a lone wolf and no one's coming in to save me. Now we're going into poverty and we're focused on money. Money, extreme fear, homelessness, hopelessness. Who's going to help us? We're spiritually, financially, we're completely broke. We're broke individuals who just lie, lie, lie. Here we go. Next position. Final call. Final call. Yeah, you're not a business leader. No one's going to listen to you. So now he is very angry. He took a risk and lost. He's that bully tyrant who wants people to worship me. Worship me, worship me. I'm Mr. Egomaniacal guy who just wants to tell everyone what to do because I'm sort of this Hitlerian dictator and I want you to worship me because I'm a beta male and I don't have it going for me. I really don't know business. I can't move obstacles out of my way. I was hoping to be, look like an alpha male and take control and be ruthless and dominating and, and I had this passion to succeed, but I failed. He failed. You failed. Your vision failed. The so-called leadership and charisma he put out there trying to move those obstacles complete fail he failed and it also is king charles is not going to do anything for him it's just basically turning it back to him the royal family in reverse that lion crest there's no strength that's strength in reverse because that's the leo of the lion of the strength so basically that is the dark sides in control dark person to avoid total facade management with anger manipulation coward sadistic pleasures no integrity no character uh just a very low vibe individual with that one in reverse he's he's bored bored in life because it's a one in reverse so he's bored he's lost himself he has no true personality within himself so basically, as H.G. Tudor has said, is when you're with a narcissist, they erase the victim's mindset, they take yours, and then they replace you with nothing, basically. Theirs. Which, they don't have much of a personality. They have to confabulate it, and they have to um, compartmentalize your character traits and put it in their brain so they can pick and choose what they want to use. And then they leave you, and then they keep adding to that compartmentalized mind. So he does not have a personality right now. He has completely lost himself total flat personality, lost his way. He's got, he's got this hero complex with her through lies and taking people down. He's not even self-aware of himself. He'd like to think he is, but he's not. He, he thinks, oh, I'm totally self-aware, but he's so unaware, he doesn't realize that no one accepts his so-called vision of self-awareness. Sorry, buddy, you're not. All you are is petulant, angry, and self-defensive here who is nothing but a fraud. So you can keep doing with your low vibe, no passion, you have no no charisma, you don't know business, you've never done it before, what are you doing? He has never been a businessman, everything's been handed, he thinks he could fit in, but nobody will respect him 
ever. He cannot take intuition. He cannot do business. He has no fire inside himself. He's too lazy, arrogant. He's, um, he's hot-headed and he's not grounded. He's not even passionate with confidence to even be able to make any of it happen. So he's basically a loser. That's a loser position. He has no impact and no vision. He's just a bully tyrant. And everybody's saying, no, we will not worship you. And no, your poor impulse control is not working. That fire, whatever fire wand you think you have left, you lost again, buddy. You lost again. So he's a failure. <clears throat> he failed. And now Megan's pretty upset because she's not getting the bank or the protection, what she thinks she needs, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, so she has not found her place or with him either. And she's lying to act like they're still a family. They're not a family. They hate each other. It's a six in reverse right here. There's absolutely no harm, harmony. There's no embracing each other. There's no embraces. There's no, no loyalty even to each other, to, or much less to anybody else. And so here, they have to accept it. They're just going to try to enjoy life with the Four of Cups in reverse. And this is why they're trying to get back. Because she does not have the bank and the money and the purpose and this place in life where she feels like she belongs. She's not. She's, she's going to stay caught out there with Harry in estrangement and never allowed to come back. They are Neither one of them are allowed to come back. Neither one of them will have uh, the ability to start anything. They won't be able to conceive anything anything new intellectually they're not honest they don't have breakthrough truths they will not come out with anything truthful they're just going to keep lying 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 about whatever they have going and here it's just this is really an avoidant card of dysregulated attachment style but they're going to try to act like they're not like that with each other. So this is, we're trying. I'm trying not to be an avoidant. I'm trying not to start conflict. I'm going to try to act like I'm actually interested in you when I'm not. So it's kind of, it's so it's very platonic energy, this Four of Cups upright. This is someone who really doesn't give a you know what about anybody or, or, or the person they're with. But they're going to pretend and act like they do. And this is very much uh, platonic. It's it's very much cognitive. It's not uh, true empathy for the person. It's just, I'm just going to try. I, I'm trying. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get along with him. It's hard for her. She has no interest in him. It's high in PD traits. They just don't feel connected to people. It's a stonewalling, rejecting of other people, an unfriendly, aloof, cold person. So Megan's trying to pretend like she's those things, but she still hasn't found her place to pretend. People aren't buying it, but she thinks she's putting in the right moves and that her ships are going to come in with that three of wands. Well, I put in all the right moves. Now I'm just waiting. You know, I'm being nice. I'm pretending to be nice like I'm his wife and I do this piercing lips like I'm a hundred year old woman, but you know, I put out that facade that we're a family and I put in those right moves. Let's see what happens. But all that starts is fire, 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 more fuel. It gave her fuel, hoping people will back down with the five of wands, hoping that they can, you know, start something. They like the drama. So it's given some attention. Hey, look, we started a new fire here because I'm acting loving to him. Wow, I haven't seen them kiss in a while in public, but they did. So that started another firestorm on social media. That's how they make their money. They like that. They like to do the pushback, the pull away, and create such chaos and drama of the five of wands they live for it we put in another manu maneuver here for more chaos and this is the witches brewing brewing up more drama this five of wands is let's see what can we do to brew up i'm pretending like we're getting along let's let's brew the pot some more and so they're going to find what they can brew. Let's put in some moves and find something to brew because that's how we how we survive. They survive on brewing brewing up tr tr troubles and they end up getting negative fuel and fail every time they do it with the 6 of wands in reverse. There's there's no winning. It's always a loss, a loss, a loss. So he lost the case once again. He keeps losing. He starts it. He loses and then he's looking, well who where's my support? The support's called the Sussex squad. That's the support and the people that are helping to try and adjust and shut down free speech and shut down uh, people from saying what they want to say and shutting down. So they're going to find, okay, where's our support? We're losers. We put in the moves for that. Okay, we lost. 
So where's my support? Because we don't have family. So they have to go to outside sources. And then they go straight to party mode. Well, we lost. Let's drink. Because three cups is about drinking. But it's also the honeymoon phase. So they're going to have this community vibe of drinking and getting along with people that support them because they don't have support. So they're, they're going to garner and find who is our friends. They have very few. Uh, with the three, that's the only thing that keeps them going. Uh, say, okay, how can we put in the right moves? How can we put in the right moves? Because there's two threes here of causing more hell and, and drama and chaos. And uh, then maybe we can claim victimhood here uh, with the six in reverse that we're failing here. Uh, they don't mind the victim card. They will play the victim and stir up the victim card uh, and say that people are racist, people are this. If we lose, it's not our fault. It's someone else's fault. And so that's kind of what they're going to do probably is claim, claim that they were unfair, blah, blah, blah. And it's not our fault, you know, not our fault. It's never our fault. So let's find out about that support. What's going to happen? What's going to happen with the support? And yes, I've been having little battles with the sugars on social media. <laughs> yeah, they're calling us pedos, you guys. They're calling us pedos because we question where the children are at. <clears throat> so yeah, that's an all-time low. That's, t that's really grasping at straws. So they run out. They've run out of. They've run out of options of how they can take down and try and get back to being Queen, Queen, uh, Queen, uh, Queen uh, Megan and King Harry. They really want to be top hierophant. They want to be the the ones in control. They want to be in the mentor position here within the marriage. But the marriage is falling apart. It was all a delusion, illusion with the Seven of Cups. And the truth is coming out about who they are, which is it's been, always been a failed marriage. But the only thing they enjoy is some kind of friendship, drinking, partying. And even that is um, starting to crash and burn. They realize they can't stay in that fantasy mode of the, you know, castle in the sky. We're going to get what we want. Future faking of the Seven of Cups is very much future faking. And that's just that reality and fantasy is colliding and it's not looking good with absolute certainty. So the fantasy of winning these cases to get the to get their IPP, to get their security, to look like they're royal, to continue to look like royals who were the losers on the out. Uh, it's all coming out that sorry, you're not you're not connected. This isn't going to bode well for Netflix. This isn't going to bode well for pretending to be something they're not there. And it's just everything's coming out about them. And then they're going to think, well, if we're going down, this is what I'm feeling right now. It just hit me. If we're going down, guess what? You're going down with us. We're going to take your, the family support and we're going to make sure it crashes and burns. If we're going to be unveiled for truths, we're going to take you down too. If we go down, you go down so that the whole thing goes down. We want everyone to look like failures and that the entire establishment of the family has failed. So I think this is what they're going to do. They're going to keep aiming to take down the monarchy and deem it a complete failure and that it was nothing but a fantasy and that uh, there, there's a meltdown. There's a meltdown in the family because the seven of cups in reverse is a meltdown. It is, uh, it's not what you're expecting. So they're going to try and come out with stuff that you're not expecting that's linked or whatever he's going to drum up. Uh, but it is, it is gaslighting. It is a gaslighting. So it's lying and, uh, make you doubt your sanity because gaslighting makes you doubt your sanity, makes people doubt the Royal family, makes them doubt the entire establishment. So they want to make people doubt the entire thing. Uh, so that's the only thing they have left on the table is to make people doubt and doubt uh, his family. And it's going to all be built on lies, lies back to the lies. And it's going to be calculated and strategized by Megan because she wears the pants in the relationship and she calls the shots with the Queen of Swords. So that's how I see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.